Hi guys, today I'm going to film um, a kind of get ready with me I suppose, a kind of get ready with me experiment with some new stuff. Some of the stuff that Marnie sent to me last week, which by the way, she's now done a video on all of the stuff that I sent to her, so I will link that below, go and check it out. Um, much more in depth than I was, she wasn't half as tired uh, and rushed as I was in, that, in my video, so go and check her video out if you're interested in seeing some stuff from the UK. If you're not from the UK, or seeing just what I sent her, the things I would recommend. Um, but yeah, I picked out some bits and pieces that I thought would go together for a makeup look today and I thought I would show you on camera me kind of trying it out for the first time. So, I've near enough got a full face of makeup out of it, I'm not doing foundation, I'm going to go straight in with this Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer, which looks like this. And I'm going to use, um, I'm hoping it's not, I mean it's like super pale, and I do have the tiniest bit of colour right now, which is unusual, but I'm going to try, wow it's so thick. I was going to say I'm going to try and blend it out with this brush that I have, but I'm not 100% sure it's going to be the most suitable. No, I thought it was going to be a more kind of blendable product, and it is not. I tend to um, wear kind of concealer on a day-to-day -day basis rather than foundation. I'll just kind of wear concealer where I need it. This is the most highlighting concealer I've ever worn. Um, but this doesn't seem to be that kind of concealer, that kind of, it seems to be kind of a concealer that you would just put on the areas that you absolutely needed it, rather than something that you can blend out instead of a foundation. I think I might need my fingers for this, because this is insane. But that is like, heavy coverage, if you're looking for something that is gonna cover your under eyes, that's pretty amazing. It is quite drying. I'm going to put a little BB cream on top of that, actually. Because it's quite all around here where I have slightly dry patches. This is the um, Clarins BB cream. Just because it was to hand, but whatever. I'm just going to kind of put that around those areas to blend it a little bit better. And to give me a tiny bit of moisture. But I think that's like a bit little bit insanely highlighted under my eyes. I might look a little bit brighter when I do the school run later on. Um, but that's my base. Then okay, I'm liking this. I want to give this a bit more of a trial. The colour that I have is ultra light. I would agree with that. Um, put a little bit of powder on. The powder that I'm going to use is this beat up old uh, bourgeois... What is it even called? Oh, here's the top of it. Is it healthy balance? Yes, healthy balance. This will probably put a bit more colour back into my skin that the concealer took out. It, it reminds me of something, that concealer, and I don't know what it is. The Kat Von D, I'll tell you why I thought it was going to be blendable, is because I thought it would just be like a, a kind of copy of the Kat Von D one, because the packaging looks identical. And the Kat Von D one, I found to be quite, um, well, very, very liquidy. I don't know if it was just mine, because the reviews that I've read, other people didn't seem to feel the same, but mine was like, super super liquidy and almost like silicone greasy kind of feeling. I didn't really like that but I expected it to be the same and it's not so I will use that differently in future and let you know how I feel about it but for now, moving on, um, the brow pencil I'm going to use is the Maybelline Definer Brow which is one of the things I actually requested from Marnie because it's one of my favourites. Um, one of my favourite things snapped immediately. <laughs> this isn't going very well. One of my favourite things that um, I can fill my brows in with and I'm really particular with my hair being so blonde, um, about <laughs> um, about the texture, but the colour more than anything, it being kind of ash. And if you use um, Max brow pencils, the technical ones that you can kind of twist up, uh, the one that I use is Fling. This is pretty much an identical product, so if you can get your hands on it, and if it doesn't snap, I can only imagine this is because it's been in transit, that it's kind of snapped on the way. You know like if you drop something and then suddenly halfway through the product it just kind of falls out because it snapped in the actual tube. I think that's probably what's happened because it's really not working with me today. But that'll do. I really love that brow pencil. Um, for the colour, but also for the, also for the texture, almost identical to the MAC one. Um, eye products. I'm going to start with uh, like the colour with this because I'm super excited to try this one. It's the Vinyl Collection from Wet n Wild. I know this won't let me down because 
Wet n Wild products, although I might not be able to get into it, that might be the parody of this one. There we go. Um, Wet n Wild products that I've tried in the past, especially eyeshadows, have all been completely amazing. So I'm excited to try this one. This one is from the Colour Icon collection. It's super slim, look how thin that is. I love, I know I've mentioned this before multiple times, but I love ultra slim packaging. Um, let's see, I don't have a tremendous amount of brushes out because I haven't unpacked all of my makeup stuff from holiday still. Can you believe we've been back for almost like a week now? Okay, I'm gonna go in with, I wanna go for the super shimmery color, but it might be a tremendous amount of fallout. So I'm gonna go for the slightly less shimmery shade just there, all over my lid. I have to do the shimmery shade though. It has to be done. Oh, it's almost like a, a peachy. It's darker than it appears in the pan. Hmm. And shimmerier. I was gonna do a full nude look. I suppose I could, I've still got time to change my mind, but I kind of wanted to use one of the pink lips that she sent me, especially one particular one stood out, it is a wet and wild one. And I really wanted to use that one particular one, so I'm gonna have to use that one. Right, I'm going for the full sparkle, so wish me luck. Just gonna do the kind of inner half. I hope it doesn't get absolutely everywhere. I think I have a little already. Let's see, okay. Um, so that's my base, I'm gonna use a little bit of the darker brown colour, this one there, which is also got glitter in it, so I probably can't get away from the fallout. Just a teeny bit in my crease. Nothing special because I can't do anything special. <laughs> this is as talented as I get when it comes to makeup. Basically following the instructions for the lid colour, crease colour, brow colour, etc, etc. Since I put my, um, I mean it's been a while that my, my filming set of my office has been where it's been, but since I've put it here, it, I just find it so hilarious because I have, actually I'm gonna use that, that matte color to kind of blend a little bit to my brow bone. Um, I find it so hilarious the people that walk past and just like, totally not understanding at all what I could possibly be doing in front of a camera. It's such a bizarre thing that YouTube is such a massive, vehicle for so many people and it's become so huge in the past few years and there are people completely unaware of it it's it's totally bizarre there's there are youtubers that are like justin bieber you know what i mean there are like people go crazy there have been wax figures made of these people at madame tussauds and there will still be people of kind of a relevant age i'm not talking like you know super old or super young completely irrelevant to them um but People that are still of kind of a relevant age that have no idea it's even out there. It's madness to me. It's like a secret, it's like they're secret celebrities. It's crazy. Um, I'm gonna use this Milani Liquid Eye um, liner pencil. I think I had one of these before, but it wasn't a twist up one. It was a pencil that you actually sharpened. Um, this is a dark brown. I'm completely in love with dark brown eye liner pencils recently. I got one from Revlon Color Stay and I wore it all through my holiday whenever I did anything that was kind of a bit more dramatic on my eyes. And this was my favorite thing. When I opened everything up, I was like, oh, I'm gonna really like this, I know I am. So I'm just gonna put it in my lashes a little. And hopefully, I'm gonna smudge it a little bit. But I had this one before, I bought one in black. Um, I think it was actually the first time I went to Vegas. I remember really liking it, like how pigmented it was, it's amazing. And I would say this is probably the same thing, but those of you that can get Milani easier than me, um, please tell me if they've changed the packaging of this in the last few years, or if it's just a different product, I don't know. But again, all the things that I do makeup-wise are basically like, Something that you can do messily and hopefully make it look like it was intentional. There's no art to it whatsoever. And no, I'm 
Like, do I do a little under the eyes? I'll do a little under the eyes. Maybe I need a bit of definition since my under eyes are now... Oh, it's not twisting up. Mm. Um, since my under eyes are now, like, <laughs> as, as pale as they could possibly, possibly be. Put the tiniest bit on and smudge that out. I realise that I've got the camera at a really strange angle to do this, so you probably can't see anything at all. I've actually got the camera resting, would you believe, on the radiator. I've got the back legs of the tripod, I actually really like that. Um, the back legs of the tripod are on the windowsill, and the front leg of the tripod being that it's a three, the front leg, um, is on the radiator. And so it kind of has to, this, this is as low as it can be. It's basically the only way that I can put it there without having to make a space and move the desk and everything and make space for my tripod. And so that's why I'm looking up at you like this. That is why, if you were wondering. Um, yeah, I really like that. It kind of looks like I've done something kind of dramatic with shadow, um, but it was easier to use than shadow. No kind of weird fallout. And whenever I use dark shadow, I find that I just get like, loads of it everywhere whereas that's a little bit easier also probably best if i stay in focus best video ever um i'm gonna use maybelline lash sensational i don't think she sent me a mascara i was looking through the bag and i couldn't find one um apologies if i've missed it but i don't think there was one um the blush i'm gonna use is this it's from nyx i can't it's really difficult to get out of the habit of saying something i always said nyx because that's how i read it but it is nyx it's NYX, and someone pulled me up on it when I did the video about the products that she sent me, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a concerted effort to say NYX. It's just difficult to get out of that habit, so NYX. Um, and this is in Pinched. This was, I didn't really send many things um, to Marnie that I wanted. I didn't really send her kind of a list. She had a few things that she wanted from me, but because I was gonna be in America anyway when she sent me the package, I kind of thought, well, anything that she doesn't send me, I can get for myself, it's not that big a deal. Um, but then because she sent me so much stuff, I, I was kind of over it before I'd even got into the shops. I thought, wow, that's amazing, and didn't really feel like I had to go out and buy anything else. Um, but when I've actually gone through everything and I've got home, there are a couple of things that I really would have wanted to buy for myself, and things like NYX aren't that easy to find um, in drugstores. I, what I really wanted her to send me was things um, from, you know, things from Target and Ulta and places like that, places that aren't going to be... Um, a walking distance away from somewhere that you would normally stay. Like when I'm in New York, I say that like hey, when I'm in New York, when, I, when I've been to New York, um, I've uh, looked for certain brands and you just can't find them anywhere because they're more in kind of big, like larger chain stores that aren't kind of city centre and things, aren't drug stores and stuff. So I'm really glad that she picked me up some bits and pieces. She got me quite a few things from NYX actually. And um, I know you can get NYX in the UK, but it's really expensive. It's an inexpensive brand in the US. Um, it's really expensive here and there's not that many places near me. I think there's a next that sells some bits and pieces, but not a lot. I think that the blushes are like like six or seven pounds, I want to say, which is expensive. It's like, I think it's even maybe cheaper for Revlon and that's the most expensive brand for, for me, like L'Oreal Revlon kind of thing, um, a top of the line when it comes to drugstore. And NYX, in my opinion, was always a really low cost brand, so I didn't really want to pay that, but whatever. Long story short, really, really like that blush. Let me know what you think. Um, and that was definitely a brand that I would have asked for if I'd kind of thought about it. That and Wet n Wild eyeshadows, which she sent me as well. Um, so I think we're down to the last step. I think we are, and that is gonna be this, which I haven't even opened. And do you know the difficulty it is for me to actually use a lipstick without taking a picture of it? Someone said something about not swatching things in the video um, of Marnie's kind of my little shout at me, I should go in a sec. He's doing colouring. Um, yeah, I can't swatch things before taking pictures because I vlog as well, whereas Marnie is more a YouTuber. So when she went through things, she'd already played with stuff and whatever. But I'd been keeping things thinking, oh, I'll take pictures of everything and then I'll do it. And I just never got around to it. So by the time I actually made the video, I still, I, I can't. It, it was a struggle. Right, I'll be back in a minute. It's cool, it's program finished. Um, okay, so anyway, the... Lipstick I'm going to use from Wet n Wild is called Mauve Out of Here, it's 907C and this is the one that when I looked through absolutely everything I was like oh my god I'm going to love this, it's like a, like a pinky purpley nudie amazingness so 
I'm gonna wear this one. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'm really building up putting on a lipstick, but ah. Uh, but like I said, oh, it's much pinker than I imagined. Like I said, um, it's really tough to actually use something without taking a picture of it as a blogger. Mm, and it's quite matte as well, much more than I imagined it would be. It doesn't feel matte, it just felt kind of matte to put on my lips. I might just get a gloss to put over this to make it slightly more neutral because it is a lot more pink than I imagined it would be. Okay, I pulled out this NYX, NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie because it's kind of a corally, peachy colour so I figured that might neutralise it slightly. Although, <laughs> That looked pretty neon when I put that on right then. I have to say, I'm not a huge gloss fan. Oh, but that smells so good. It smells like something and I don't know what it is. It's like a sweet or a... Is it like raspberry ripple ice cream? Someone from England tell me that. Is it raspberry ripple ice cream? Because I would imagine that that smells different from like country to country. But that is amazing. I love the smell of that. And it's not at all sticky. It is indeed a buttery feeling. So yeah, I used quite a few products there in the end. Um, so what, what do you think? Tell me what you think. I really like the Wet n Wild. It's much bronzier than I would imagine. It's much warmer on my eyes. If you look at that, I thought it was going to be quite cool toned, kind of taupey colours. Because um, I used the cooler side. If I'd used that side, I would have expected but I used the cooler side and I think it all looks quite warm um, a nude lip probably would have looked better I will definitely do a video with the Lorac Pro palette I think I'm gonna do kind of um, a weekly thing you know like I used to do the five looks one palette or whatever else I think I'm gonna do that on the Lorac Pro, blah, blah, Lorac Pro palette because um, there's just so many options and I just think in order to really test it out and push myself to use it and not just like look at it and think it's pretty. Um, I think I'm going to do a video like that. So let me know if that would be of interest to you and I'll try and film it soon. Um, probably one of the easier videos for me to film because it is tough to get time recently. Um, but Milo has discovered colouring in and he really likes to do that and it keeps him quiet for long enough to be filming a video for you apparently. I didn't expect it to be a success but here we are, rambly video over and um, almost completely uninterrupted. So yeah, I'm going to finish with a little giveaway. I did promise I was going to do a giveaway. I was going to add some stuff to this to make it kind of a more substantial giveaway, but instead... Um, oh! There was one more thing I was going to use. I'm going to use it now anyway. It was the NYX, I nearly said it, NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I just saw it on the side. My desk that I'm working with right now is like, you would just die. It's, it's such a mess. I can't see anything. I, I quite like that. It almost lightens up the colour that I've put on. I really like that. This is in blonde, um, and I really, I didn't expect it to be this long. When it was in the packaging, you could just see like a little bit of it, um, and it's nice. A small brush, very, very nice, and not normally something that I would use, but I like that. Hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I was going to do a giveaway and make like a whole video about it and put other things in it. I just thought, for those of you that actually stuck it out and watched this rambly long video, um, I'm going to do a little secret giveaway for you. Um, and I'm going to leave a link in the info bar to a blog post where it's kind of all about this makeup and it'll all be listed there and all that stuff and there'll be a widget there uh, where you can enter the giveaway. It's kind of the easiest way of doing it, the most fair because otherwise I never really... you never really know that you're fairly 100% randomly picking a winner plus sometimes I think that YouTube like knocks some comments off whereas if you know that you've entered through that widget, the rafflecopter widget, then you know you've entered and it completely randomly picks a giveaway winner. I'm just more comfortable doing that and I know that I know that that's a completely random winner and everyone's votes or entries have been counted. So, uh, go through that link and you can enter to win the following things. A comfort zone palette, which is from Wet n Wild. The only reason I'm giving this away is I already have it, um, which is fantastic. And Moni sent me another one, so that is that. Uh, a Milani baked blush in Luminoso. A little revealed two palette sampler. This is from Coastal Scents and it came on the top of the Coastal Scents palette she sent me and this is kind of like a, a tester for the next one making you want the next palette kind of thing so I thought I'd throw that in there because we don't get Coastal Scents I don't think here. 
um, two of the Wet n Wild lipsticks because she sent me uh, duplicates. This one that I just used, which is mauve out of here, and the other one is red velvet. I'm kind of really excited to use the red velvet one. I think that's gonna look really nice with the blonde. I don't do that enough. I don't do the kind of like the blonde and the red. I don't know. Um, and then another one, I went through my collection, I've got something so, so similar from this, uh, or to this from Hard Candy from a long time ago, so I thought it was silly to keep both of them. And this is Beloved. Beloved or Beloved? I don't know. It's this peachy kind of shimmery color from Hard Candy. And last of all, and I'm not 100% sure whether I can send this within the UK. If I can't, then apologies, I won't be able to include this in the giveaway. Um, but if I can, I, I haven't kind of looked it up. But if I can, I will include this. I've kept the sticker on here because she was smart to seal it up. It's the Zoya um, nail polish in Wendy because one of the only three Zoya nail polishes I own was Wendy. It's a gorgeous colour, but I don't need two of them, so I thought I would give it away to one of you guys. So yeah, follow the link in the info bar if you want to enter that giveaway. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this super long video. I'm sorry that I'm so inconsistent these days, but you know, things have changed slightly. Um, but I am going to be back, hopefully, very, very soon. I'm dedicating this weekend to filming some more videos. So if you've got any videos specifically you'd really want to see, uh, then let me know and I'll put the ones that come up the most at the top of my list. Uh, to film. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check out Moni's video uh, and all the other stuff that I've linked to, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!